Greetings and salutations and welcome to another event video. In today's video we're going to be making a Christmas tree decoration. Another one in fact. This is going to be a little snowman we're going to make. It's relatively simple, it's mostly a large revolve feature with just a couple of sweeps, but let's get to it. So let's go, let's make a new part and we're going to start a sketch. Grab a plane and we're just going to start off with a couple of of lines, so we're going to start with a 15, followed by a 10, followed by a 5, followed by a 6, and we're then going to put one right in the middle here at 7.5. Now we're going to set that to a construction line. Okay, right, so now we can actually put some arcs involved. So this was just me just setting up the center profile, because you're going to revolve around most of it, and the rest of it can all be added in due time. So this is going to start as a semicircle for the first one, and we're then just going to arc roughly in there. That looks about right. And we'll put a much smaller one about there. Good enough for me. Right. Next job is to actually sort out a hat. Now you could do this in multiple bodies if you wanted to. There are other ways you could mold multiple bodies that I'm just doing it all in one feature. This is not great modeling habits. This is me just having a bit of fun. Otherwise it kind of gets a little bit boring. Because if I wanted to just properly, I'd fully do it. I could do it all, I could fully constrain it, make it all go purple, which I probably would at the end. But no promises. So we're going to probably put, oh let's put an arc here, we're going to go straight down, say about here, arc a bit, and we'll go up, ooh, let's go 2.5, bit flat for me, so let's go across 2.5, and Go there. It's a little bit right, and then we'll go down one mil, and I think now that we'll go down a bit more. Let's say one point five. There you go, and I can then just put in cancel to snap to it, and if I snap to there, straight across. And we can just put a little click there. Click OK. And that's most of it. That's actually the rough part of it done. Now you can then just click Revolve. Select it and then just select an axis. And before you know it, click OK. That is the rough shape of our snowman. Ta da! Right, so if we go back to our snowman, you can see now we've got a couple more things to do. We've got the little hook on his hat so you can t hang him from the tree. We've also got his arms and we've also got a face to sort. So let's actually start with the hook. So we'll go back to the part three. And we're going to firstly just highlight the plane. Just want this plane and. So we're going to do it on XY. Start a sketch on XY. And we're gonna go center. We go. Go two miles out either side. And let's say we then go up five. line, so that is to 5, and we'll then go and do a arc, that's 2, and we can then just set right on the centre point, I uh, will say 2.5, already done that, Perfect. 
Right, and I think we're actually going to adjust it slightly and make it 3. So if I put it down to 3, there we go. Finish sketch. And so we have the middle profile done. Now what we then just do is down sketch with extrude. And we then set it to symmetric. And we then just make it... Let's try 3. 3 other side. Looks good. Click OK. And we then just throw a couple of fillets on. Yeah, we'll throw a couple of fillets on. Can we go 1.5? Yeah, we'll go 1.5. Click apply. And there's actually a hangy top part to hang, hang our snowman from. So that now kind of leaves another kind of job. Now I'm going to re-put on this XY plane because we've got quite a bit to do on there. So we have his arms to do. And we also have his face. If we do his arms, we can start a 2D sketch. And we can say let's put his put an arm out here. Yeah, we'll go there. And we'll say we can just have one finger point there. And another camp point out here. Click OK. Click finish sketch. Now then if I now then grab here. Grab the end, make a plane perpendicular onto the end of it. Got a plane there. And we then just select sketch. We can then draw a circle. So let's just say, we could adjust it later. 1.5. Finish sketch. No, 1.5 seems a bit on the larger side. So you see, I can make it down to like 0.75. There we go, it looks a bit better. Now, so if I then go to sweep. Click OK. And I can now then hide work plane 1. What we can also do is if I go on to sweep and share this sketch. Actually, no. We go plane. Yeah, no. We can go onto here and grab a sketch. No sketch. Yeah. Okay, plan B. Plan B, we'll just add on to it. It's not what I wanted, it didn't work last time, although I did make these in 2018 Inventors, so... A lot can change between now and then. Click OK, click Finish Sketch, and we then just could do the same as we did. End Plane. Start there. Grab a circle. 0.75. Finish Sketch. Sweep it. Path. Profile. It seems to be selecting. Because it's got other data there, right? Okay, plan B. There we go. Right, so if I let's sweep. There we go. Pesky constraint data. Ah, there we go. So we've got one arm. Got one arm done. I'm actually thinking of adjusting this first arm here. Just because it looks like it's looks like it's just just starting to slide out. Where you see now, it completely goes in there. And we can cheat on the other arm by simply mirroring what we just did. So, we then just grab this feature and then we just select that and that. That was a mirror plane. Click OK. And there we go. So now if I then just make the X. Oh, I reflected the mirror plane. Damn it. Right. Mirror. Features, mirror plane as YZ, click OK, there it goes, now it's disappeared. Problem solved, this turned out to be longer than I expected, hey ho. Right, next job. 
is we're going to now start working on the face so we can actually make for worms the xy plane disappear and we can actually make our own planes based on xy we're going to shift it a bit forward about there and we're going to start a sketch and so what's going to happen is we're now going to put let's say that's a bit big we're going to say 1.5 So we say 1.5 and we'll have 1.5 and we can then say where well, we're going to put 1 mil .75 and we can have, you can have 3 so we can have 0.75 and we can have another one here Point seven five. Finish the sketch and we can then extrude. And if we then just it's going the wrong way, so if you just flip it, uh they're a bit big frosty. Let's change them down to two. One five seven five. So you click OK, and now what we can then do is we can now just round it all off. See, I can now change it to zero point five. We can make it really adjustable, make it really flexible. Say zero point two five. Actually, we'll do it in two different phases. We'll do the big two, they can have a larger one, they can have 0.5, and the bottom ones, these can all have 0.25s. There we are, it's completely versatile and adjustable. If you wanted to, you could probably make it 0.3. Click apply. And the last thing we need to do is give him a carrot for a nose and we can do this relatively easily by grabbing a plane and make it up roughly that big finish sketch and what we can then do is if we then grab another plane uh, how big do we want this nose? You can have, this could be a reasonably long nose and we can then start the sketch and you can drop a point down there so if I then just make this work plane disappear this work plane also disappear and we use loft and what now I have is you see he's got a bit of a carrot for a nose it's a bit sharp mind you but now all then you need to then do is to colour it in but I think this video is already coming up to 14 minutes. Blow me now. We could do that in another. We could do that in another video. Maybe I'll do another video where I can actually edit it and I'll put them all, tweak them all. But after all, thank you for listening, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.